Hey everybody, welcome back. Todd here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be working on Laura's horse trailer. It's a continuation of that first video we did on the drop down windows. You can see behind me we got those windows successfully out. We're in the process of uh, rebuilding them. We've ordered some parts and I'll kind of take you through that. Uh, Laura's been working on the roof. We'll show you some of that. We've got some work to do on the inside. So come on with me and I'll show you what we're up to. If you're new to the channel, this is our 2000 Axis horse trailer. It's a three horse slant with a dressing room up front. And it's seen a lot of use in its day. It's at that point where it just needs a lot of work, a lot of deferred maintenance. And so it's a project that we've decided to just jump into. So we'll take you on the journey and show you what we've got going it's going to take a little bit of time based on the punch list we're working with but that's the project so let's get into it laura's still working on getting the silicone off of the roof seam so that we can completely reseal that she's got how many days do you got into this for a week but sometimes only 50 minutes at a time but I only have four feet left okay we'll I'll take we'll show you a look at the roof here in just a minute see all the stuff that's come off the roof let's go up and take a look You can see that it had die core on it or something that sealed it. When we were having problems with it, we made the mistake of putting silicone on it. Well, once you put silicone on top of that die core, it's a band aid, it'll only hold for so long, and then the UV rays start to deteriorate, and you got a problem. Well, the problem is. You can't come back over with die core over top of silicone. So what we're doing, come around here, is using wire brushes and you gotta wire brush that stuff off. Well, that's pulling off some of the loose die core. So kind of a big job. Had we not done silicone, had we just purchase some additional die core you'd have been able to go right over top of that with self-leveling die core and uh, you'd be in business here we've gone ahead and taped over the top of the missing caps here's the cap so two of those the cap mechanisms blown off so we were able to purchase two entirely new vents we're going to see if we can because they're exactly the same thing we're going to see if we can just take the mechanism the, the cap and the mechanism and install them into that vent then we'll just re core around this those are on their way let's take a look at one more issue that we're dealing with you can see this has a four foot pad all against the wall there. Hard rubber, 3 16 of an inch. And over the years, that's gotten kicked and scuffed and whatever, and now it's torn. So what we're gonna do, this material, you buy it in either two foot tall sections or four foot. Well, this is obviously four foot. We don't wanna replace this entire wall. Because it's about thirteen fifty a running foot for the four foot, and it's about ten bucks for the two foot. So we're just going to start with this one by cutting a patch for it. So you can see that it's held in there with just some self-tapping Torx head screws, sheet metal screws. And so what we're going to do, where you see the blue line there, we're going to go ahead and cut that. And then we'll buy the replacement, the two foot section. It looks to be about a couple of feet worth. And we'll cut down 
a patch that will tuck inside. The patch will be bigger than the outside of that blue line. So then it'll tuck in from the bottom here. It'll come up under and it'll come up to about here and then we'll pin it together with two of them so this will be you know tucked up underneath so we'll do that all the way around so we chose a big enough area to kind of graft in a, a section you can see we got bolt or screws right there so we'll be able to put that piece underneath it and attach it down pretty good so We'll go ahead and get that ordered this week. So this will be another one coming that uh, will show you how well it works for us. Hopefully if you've got similar kind of a problem, you'll know how to fix it. Or at least see how we did it and whether it's going to work for us or not. Today we're going to disassemble these other two windows. I brought one of them in here into the shop. We'll start by pulling that off. That clips into kind of a holder at the bottom. So when you fold down the windows, it sticks to the side of the horse trailer and isn't flapping around. That's the front window. So just kind of do a walk around here. The latch is the top of the window. Uh, you can see that the window's busted out. So that's problem number one. Uh, problem number two, you can see down here where the skin, the aluminum skin, is popped out of the frame. That's because the wood underneath here has gotten water in it and it's swollen up and rotted and it puckered that out. So that's the beginning of the end. So obviously the name of the game is to deconstruct this or disassemble it and we'll rebuild it we've got new windows we ordered them uh, about a week ago and we just got them in unfortunately there's some damage to one of them i'll show you that in a minute but okay so disassemble this i flipped this over now and of course the latch is on the top I've opened this up. The, the hinge seems to be pretty frozen up on this thing. I'm not, a, I'm not quite sure why because the hinge on the bar is nice and free. But the hinge on the window itself where the entire mechanism drops down really feels like it wants to bind. So we're going to have to troubleshoot that. Obviously, you can see this frame is all torn up. So, we'll start by getting this whole thing disassembled and getting that hinge and that frame off. And we'll go from there. At this point, what I've done is opened it all the way up with a hinge. And then you can see, you just got a series of self-tapping screws that hold those hinges on i've gone through with my square head number two that's what these things take so i've just gone ahead and broken them all loose and now i'm going to pop them out and this whole hinge will come out and then that part of the that part of the mechanism will lift right off came off no problems Again, you can see how sprung this is from this side where the wood has gotten wet inside there over years and it's just expanded and popped that out. Here's the inner portion of it. So then my next step is going to be to go around the outside of the frame here and pop those out wherever it's got that. Now I'm going to have to drill out these rivets right here. Shouldn't take me but a minute. Okay, we're going to drill these rivets out. Just have a drill bit. Stick it right in the, right in the head. And 
top of that rivet just pops right off. Almost wanna pop the heads off and then it'll come right out. Next we're gonna take the latch out. I got a Torx size 20 here. drop right out a couple of 20s right there and just like that our latch is free. Okay. Got it. We're back with our T Torx 20. I'm going to take all of the screws out of the window, trim kit, we got all the screws out. Should be able to just pop that trim kit off the center. There we go. Once that's out, I'll lay that over here. And I'm pull out. Here we go. Just like that. Our window is out. So I flipped this over. I got the I got the last uh, rivet out. Flip this over. There we go. Should should come apart. All right. There we go. Half off. I'm gonna set this over here. Let's spin it around. I think I'm going to use a putty knife on the inside. All right, putty knife, I think we are ready. Come apart. There we go. And this is going to take some work. There's some silicone underneath this. I'm going to have to run a putty knife around. Okay. Right. She's coming now. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Now well, we got it kind of apart. So, yeah. The styrofoam is stuck to this side of it. Peel that off. Get that off the other side, but let's take a look at this. Here we go. So, just like the other one, looks like we got a piece of 2 by here. Maybe a 2 by 4 cut down, radius. This looks like a 2 by 2 has some sort of a groove in it just like the other one not sure if that's to allow for expansion or if they're just using up old pallet material or something but and then the inside there is just filled in in foam my guess on a styrofoam is it's just to lighten up the overall weight of the window obviously the wood gives you something to screw into then that's boxed out for the latch mechanism to be able to screw into so we'll be rebuilding these
here's one of the windows. We got three windows in, and one of them you can see has a lot of damage there. Up top, it's all scuffed up. They just didn't have it packaged well. I mean, there was no bubble wrap whatsoever. It just came inside of that box with that stuff wrapped around twice. And it, all that did is secure the, the trim ring to the back side of the window. But in the meantime, this thing got scuffed around inside that box all over the place. So, you know, we're going to have to get that replaced. So it's always something. But those three windows match the ones we took out identically, other than the fact that these are black and the others were silver. The other issue we had was trim ring. This is one of the trim rings. You can see that there's a good 16th of an inch or more gap there. This thing's not even close to being level. It's really bowed out. So this trim ring needs to be replaced. And again, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's pretty bad. There's no way it's going to fit the window. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you guys tagging along and watching the video. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you'll get the notification when we post the next video in this series. We've got parts coming this week. That's exciting. So we'll be able to make some more progress on the project. So check back in on us next week and we should have another video for you. Until then, thanks again. Bye.